Hi, I'm Liam, here to tell you about our latest debugger tool, the MPLAB PickKit Basic. This is our new low-priced debugger, so although it may not have all the bells and whistles, it's still a great choice for basic debugging. We're going to get straight into unboxing what comes with the tool and talk a little bit more about what it can do right now. We'll go ahead and get right into what comes in the box. So you have the Picket Basic. You also get this colorful eight pin single inline cable. We'll talk a little bit about what the colors all mean in a minute, but you also get this USB-C to USB-C cable. You get this 10 pin cable and adapter board for ARM SWD. You also get some stickers. All right, so let's look at the tool. So on one end, you have the eight pin cable connection. And then on the other side, you have the connection for the USB-C cable. You'll also see two LEDs. And if you see inside the enclosure, there's the emergency recovery button as well. And then clearly visible, you have the color-coded chart. This is to help with the different debug interfaces across the top. You can also see which signals correspond to each pin. And they also correspond to the color-coded cable that we include. So you can actually see which signals are going through which pin and how they correspond based on whatever interface you're using. The tool doesn't have any high voltage programming or advanced debugging features, so it's pretty much suited for just simple debugging. And it supports PIC, AVR, DSPIC, SAM, and CEC devices. It's compatible with many of our devices, but for specific details, see the MPLAB X IDE device support list. I'll link it up here in the corner. If you want to learn a little bit more about this tool, like how it's compatible with third-party IDEs supporting SimSys DAP standard, check out this video here. And if you're looking for just the basics at a low cost, for affordable and efficient debugging, look no further than the MPLAB PickKit Basic. Check out our playlist here for more details about our other programming and debugging tools. And thanks for watching.